we're down in the cuddy right now. This is a little kitchenette area. Mind you, you know, everything's got to get cleaned up because it's been sitting for a few years. Microwave, sink, refrigerator, freezer. That's the electrical panel for the cuddy area. There's storage in here. There's a dining table set here. You can seat four people with radio systems down here and fans. That radio is AM, FM, and it has a cassette player, which could be upgraded pretty easily. Um, all the systems work down here. We tested everything. This folds out for sleeping. Nice little couch sofa area. Mind you, there's those life jackets and the topper for the boat. The canopy. If you go off back this way, there's a bedroom here with curtains that close and uh, cl closets on each side. The mattress folds up and there's a big storage compartment underneath the mattress in the middle. There's also storage down there in the front you can access pretty easily too with lights and fans. Uh, twin hatches that face forward so when you're traveling forward you'll get a breeze down here pretty well. And uh, has a full head. So the head is kind of cool because it has a toilet. So that has a macerator pump on it that grinds up the shit and uh, the feces, excuse me. And then it goes to a holding tank that you can pump out the marina. It's got storage there, and that upper part folds up, and that's where your toilet paper roll holders are. So it hides the TP. More storage where the mirrors are, windows that slide open. Then it has a handheld shower here. It's getting kind of dark because we're down inside, but it's a wet room. So you can take a shower down here with hot water on demand. That and there's a sink obviously, and it flows on the floor into that drain there in the back corner. So you got a full shower here. Hypothetically, you could have you know four people sleeping on here. You could microwave food, you just can't cook food. There's not a rain stove in here. Coming back out of the hatch, you got this door. And this is a, a sliding door that goes across like that to get down to the cutty here. You need some grease and oil, plus there's other stuff in the way. That's why she ain't moving very well right now. But, you know, you got a deck hand seat, storage underneath both. Again, here's the glass that slides. Then there's the helm. And a uh, big cargo area out back here. Um, you have an idea how big this is. It's probably maybe six, seven foot long. And then it's the full beam of the boat. The boat has a 13 foot beam. So she's two feet wider than Marigold. So she'll rock and roll a lot less. The cushions for these seats are up in the cutty. And uh, there's a swim platform out back. Here to give an idea, that platform will sit above the water. So where you sit in the boat, you're about two, maybe two and a half foot higher than where you sit in Marigold. So there's a lot more freeboard on her. And the colors are kind of cool. They're red and white. They match the lighthouse. So uh, I'll take some pictures on the outside, show you guys what we can, and go from there.